Hey guys, Justin here. Just want to do a video on the neurological side of training and why we um, program strength training into your hypertrophy and body transformation protocols and the importance of it and not just skimming through it if you do love that higher rep volume stuff. So basically like the neurological side or the strength, strength side um, of things, it can be looked at as a rest off the more inflammatory protocols like the higher volume in the metabolic work and the hypertrophy work. Um, there's less demand or there's less inflammatory response. Um, it's more, we're, we're trying to learn the coordination and the motor pattern learnings um, from the demand of recruiting more motor units or more muscle fibers under the intensity. So we're gonna ramp up the intensity, the volume comes down, um, but that gives us a greater ability to recruit um, fast twitch fibers as opposed to slow twitch fibers which we'll get in the higher volume stuff. The, um, the benefits of those are that they're, they have the ability to hypertrophy the most, So, um, but they're not as cost efficient on energy wise. So the body wants to use the most, like, if, like move in the most efficient way. So it'll always prime towards switching on um, slow um, twitch fibers as opposed to the fast twitch fibers. So the neurological phase is very important for that. Um, and having the, like the high demand in tension. So when we like increase the tension, um, we're going to create some mechanical damage. So if you're a newbie, that's great. So you'll get results as you get more neurologically efficient. Um, you can take this skill across into say your hypertrophy programming and then by the, the ability to recruit more motor units, under, you'll be able to create more tension with more load in say your hypertrophy programming. And then when we go to the um, metabolic phase, you'll be able to recruit more motor units to deplete more energy systems. So if you were trying to deplete glycogen, create lactic acid, you've got more motor units to do that. So then you get these results faster from less work. Um, being more neurologically efficient. Now the adaptions we're gonna get here, like biochemically, we're not gonna be taxing say electrolytes as much because the volume's down. Same with like carbs. We're not gonna be needing as many carbs in our nutrition. We're not gonna be um, like smashing blood sugar in the body. So a lot of these things will like we can, we'll be taking out, you'll notice in the diets that um, the carbs will come down around training and whatnot. Um, the and then the supplements may change so we might really restrict caffeine because caffeine depletes the ability to boost neurotransmitters which is what we're going to do in a neuro program we're going to be burning through the neurotransmitters acetylcholine dopamine so um, we'll increase foods like proteins and fats which help boost these and there'll be some supplements there to help that um, recovery wise we get little to no adaption to recovery in the or improvements to recovery in the neuro phase and that's basically just because like with the high amounts of inflammatory responses from hypertrophy we're going to get those adaptions there the greatest adaption here is becoming more neurologically efficient the ability to rec recruit more muscle fibers or motor units um, to get neurologically efficient in the other programs so I hope that gives you a good insight to the neuro strength programming guys. If you have any questions, just like send me a message on WhatsApp or comment below this video and yeah, happy training.